Um, I think it's uh, an exciting time for the club. Um, you know, I've met the owner, who's uh, and obviously the, the chief exec, Alessandro. Here. Um, they they share the same vision as I do for this football club. Um, I came in the first time I met them, and uh, we just seem to to fit. And uh, you know, I'm very uh, ambitious in what I want to do and where I want to go in, in, in the game as a manager and uh, the chairman shares the same belief and, and wants the same for this football club. Having played for the club, did that help swing it for you? Um, yeah, most did that matter? Most definitely, yeah, I have affiliation with the club. I, I would class it as my first club as a player. Um, you know, I, I, I was at Spurs as a kid and, and Orient took a chance with me. Um, I had a good time here and, and you know, I was a very committed player. Um, and I shall be a very committed manager, that's for sure. What are the aims, what are the objectives? You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of clubs in this league looking to do the same thing and uh, we all want to get promoted, so that's, that's the aim, to, to, to get promotion. Um, you know, we've got some good players here, the, the, the nucleus of the squad that's, that's left there. Um, so that's what we want, we want to be challenging and, and get a promotion at the end of the season. After the season that the club has had, you hope that this might be a, a turning point? Well, it is. Um, this, everyone's disappointed. Uh, I know the chairman's very disappointed um, from last year. Um, and I'm hoping the players feel the same. Uh, and when I, when I get them on the training ground on the 29th of uh, June, when we come back, um, we'll, we'll have a chat and we'll, we'll have our goals and our ambitions and our aims and we'll set them out early, you know, early on. And, that's what, and we know what we're going to be aiming for. How much of an opportunity have you had to see League Two football? Um, I have watched a lot of games. Um, I came, I came, uh, I've, I've, saw, I've watched Orient last year quite a few times in League One. Um, I have a, a lot of experience of League Two in the past. Um, I, I did get out to a few games last year. Obviously, I was working at West Ham, but uh, my staff will have a very good knowledge of, of this division. Um, when they come in and when they're appointed. And on that front, how soon do you hope to sort of maybe a backroom team like that? Um, you know, are you looking to, to bring in some guys to help you? Ke Kevin's here at the moment. I say at the moment, sorry. Kevin's here and uh, I'd like him to you know, be part of what's going to happen. There is, uh, I have someone in mind who, who I'd like to bring in. Um, I can't name, obviously, but, uh, you know, but that, that'll be done for, for the start of pre-season, I'm sure. How do you reflect on your time at, at West Ham? What have you what have you learned from your know, four, four years there? Something four like years, that? Yeah, yeah. You know, long time Premier League, but you know, does it all benefit to you as well? Totally, yeah. Um, I learned so I learned, I learned so much from Sam. Um, I've got to be honest, and, and Neil McDonald, his assistant, um, went in there, sort of, uh, and done the development squad. You know, a lot of. Uh, literally developing players, working with the younger players up to 21. Um, when we went into the league there, that turn, you know, we, we done really well. Sam obviously saw something in me as a coach and promoted me. And I've been with the first team there. I was there for two and a half years with him. And uh, you can't fail to learn off of Sam, you know, with his, the way he's his organisation. Um, you know, it was, it was an eye-opener, to be honest. Uh, and, I, and I took so much from him. Have you spoken with Sam? Did you ask for his advice, perhaps, on, yeah, on taking I, this job up? I did, yeah, and he was—he uh, he said to me, fully, fully uh, supportive. He said, and, and, and go for it. And uh, he, he's, you know, obviously, you ask experienced people uh, what they think, and he said, in, 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 his, in his words, "You ready?" So, you know, I'm ready to, for the challenge, and uh, we're going to give this a good go. Are there any hard feelings on the way that things finished at West Ham? Though? Um, you know, we, was all, we was all coming out of contract. Um, the club, in their wisdom, have made that decision. Um, if you ask me if it's the right one or the wrong one, I'll, you know, it's, it's not for me to say, and, that, it, and, the, and the proof will, will be at the end of next year. But uh, I wish West Ham well and hope they stay in the Premier League and they move into the stadium uh, in that position. Uh, but, but in my opinion, Sam would have, would have, would have done that job and gotten there. So. You know, but that's that's the club's decision, not you know, not anybody else's. You're here at Lake Norrids. Uh, Teddy Sheringham, who was also part of the coaching staff at, at West Ham, is at is at Stevenage. Um, how many others of the, the West Ham backroom team can we 
expect to see his managers this summer? Do you well, think? I, I don't know. Uh, I think Neil McDonald's uh, the, the, the last one, um, and I think there's a few rumours about him getting a job as well. So uh, have you spoken to him? I have, yeah, yeah, I've spoken to him. Yeah. So, cool. uh, Where's he going? I don't know, tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll have a few offers. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Sam says he's going to take a rest as well. Can you understand perhaps why? Uh, totally, yeah. He, he, uh, he's, he's a well-deserved rest. Uh, he's going to spend some time with his family. Um, I know he's away with his grandchildren at the moment. And, uh, uh, and, and good luck to him. He, he, he deserves it. Teddy said that uh, he will be looking at perhaps getting some players from West Ham on loan. Will you? Is that an option for you? Uh, of course, it's an option. Um, I know the players well. I've worked with a lot of them coming through, um, you know, and there's some good young professionals there. But there's a lot of good young professionals at a lot of these Premier League clubs, and, uh, and I'm sure that they're willing to to let the lads out to, to gain experience. And in my opinion, the, the best experience for them would be playing league football um, and not under 21 football at the moment. Do you think the problems over the Olympic Stadium though might? Make it difficult for you. Um, the relationship, perhaps, between Leighton Orient and West Ham. I don't think so. Um, you know, they, they're going to want what's best for their players. Um, what's going on's going on. Um, if they if they want to go down that route, that's fine. We'll, we'll go somewhere else. But you know, if they've got a player that that I would like to take and uh, they want to stand in his way of progressing, then that's up to them. I thought I'd ask you some questions yes. as well. What what are the qualities that you you see in Ian? Uh, the best quality probably is uh, um, your uh, humble uh, approach. Okay, very interested uh, to show his quality for uh, do a, a great season. Okay, with the club that he loves because uh, he's a, a, a little difference with uh, all the other uh, manager that we have uh, spoken uh, before him. He loves really the club because he played he played uh, many years ago. And uh, this is uh, the, the difference that uh, the chairman has uh, taken for shoes uh, uh, Ian uh, against the other, the other manager. Is it a risk though? Is it a gamble in some respects? No, I think uh, no, because uh, he has uh, experience at uh, all the levels, from the League 2 to the Premier League. And also he can help us uh, to, to, uh, with the, the big experience in Premier League. To working better, and uh, no, for me, no, for me, it's a good, a good, uh, good choice for for us. Ian, as far as your squad is concerned, are you able to bring players in? Are you able to spend money on on strengthening the squad? I've, I've had a conversation with uh, with the chairman, and uh, he's he's fully supportive in, in what I want to do. Um, so yeah, there's there's scope. Obviously, we, we need to bring some players in because because of, of the size of the squad at the moment. There's a few that got got released at the end of last season, so uh, yeah, no, we we will be bringing players in. And do you? I mean, I think there were three managers here. Well, certainly three managers last season. Do you have any concerns over over the future? I think speak again. Speaking with the chairman and, and the conversations I've had, the club are looking for stability, and uh, you know, it's a results-based business. If, if the results of go well, then I shall be in a job. If they don't, then you know that's that's for everybody else to decide. But that's you know I'm I'm here and I want to be here and, and get this club back to where they want to go. Uh, and whether that's two years, three years, four years, I want to be here and, and, and lead it that way. Sorry, how long is your contract to last? I have a two-year contract. And how important would it be to you to still be here in two years' time? Well, as I said, it's you know if. I want to be here two years. I want to be here longer than that, and I want to take you know the club to where where they want to go and where the chairman wants them to go. So you know, and to do that, we've obviously got to be successful within those first two years. I'm sorry, but Ian talks about stability. Yes, uh, we need. Uh, how important is it from your point of view that, that there is a bit of stability after everything that's happened in the last what twelve months or so? Uh, yes, uh, the last uh, twelve months uh, is uh, experience for us. We did uh, some mistakes. Uh, honestly, and uh, we don't want to do the same mistakes uh, the next season. We want to start. Uh, we want to to take a book and uh, uh, turn the page. We have a new page, white page, to write with uh, a, a little experience that we have taken last season. And uh, he is our uh, writer. Okay. <laughs>
Is that good to hear it? That's, that's great to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Listen, wish you well. Thank you. Thank you.